Welcome everybody to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making a lamb leg. Now, for the rub, what I've used was garlic, an onion, vinegar, olive oil, salt, and of course, pepper. Black pepper, lots of it. Now, what I've done was, I got my grinder here, a small little one. I put about three cloves of garlic, this whole onion, black pepper, to your liking. I put a little extra the vinegar to break it down, oil to bind everything, and of course a bit of salt to your liking. Now after blending everything together, it came out as a greenish rub, a little bit moist because of the oil and the vinegar, and what I did was I rubbed the lamb leg with it. Now let me grab the lamb leg, I'm going to put all this stuff away and I'm going to show you how exactly it looks like. So here is my lamb leg. What I have done was I grinded everything together, I rubbed it thoroughly, I've also taken off a little bit of the fat from it just to give it a little bit of more healthy appeal. What I've done also is I grabbed a knife and I had some cloves of garlic and what I started doing was I made a few incisions, moved the meat a little bit like that, put the clove of garlic inside, if it was a little bigger one I cut it in half and I did about I would say five on each side, five on this side, five on that side and after that, I saran wrapped it last night and I kept it in the fridge. So right now it's about, uh, I would say, 9 o'clock in the morning. And towards 1 o'clock, I'm going to put this bad boy in the oven and start roasting. So welcome back everybody to my kitchen. Now that I have taken out the lamb leg, I am going to be ready to prepare it in the roast. Now what I have pre-cut right over here is standard celery, carrots and onions, everything is just a rough cut and I threw in a few cloves of uh, garlic. That will be sort of the bed and of course at the end you could get that gravy out of it. So let's put it all right here. Spread it out evenly. And I'm going to grab some olive oil. Just a little dash on all of it. Now, I've also put some salt and pepper. Again, that's all to your likings. Now, what I also am going to put is bay leaves. Spread them out evenly. And a couple of cinnamon sticks right here. This would help with the aroma, especially if you have kids. And the smell of the lamb or the taste of it is a little, you know, wonky with the kids. Also, I like to put uh, green cardamom. Just about five or six of them. 
Now, if you don't know how they actually look like, they come in sort of a bit of a container and they're like little tiny seeds, I guess. And of course, a bit of rosemary. Just got those actually from the uh, garden. Now I'm going to leave this one here just to put it with the uh, actual meat. So let's unwrap our meat. I'm going to put this guy aside here. Start smelling it. There we go. Now, while I'm preparing this, I'm preheating the oven for three hundred and fifty degrees. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the oven for a couple of hours with the foil on. Open her up, test her out, make sure that it's sort of somewhat starting to tenderize and get cooked. And after that, the last hour, we'll take the foil off, lower the heat a little bit, just so that it gives it that little bit of a crisp uh, on, the, uh, on the bare layer. So, this is the lamb leg. Right in the middle here. Actually, I'm not sure if you can tell, but these are the uh, incisions that I made, and I put in the uh, garlic in them. As you can see, they're everywhere. So I'll put this bad boy here. Now. I'll get the one rosemary vine that I left and sort of pluck it and try to find places for it to put her in for that aroma. I didn't put the rosemary with the original marinade. The reason why was because of the garlic and the onion that I put in the marinade and the vinegar what it's going to do is it's going to take over the aroma of it so we're going to waste a lot of that smell, that nice rosemary smell so just sort of put them on top somewhere like that Perfect. So the next step would be is to put water inside here and to cover it. Now when it comes to putting in the water you don't want to boil the meat, sort of just you're submerging the vegetables with the water and basically what you're doing is you're giving it a kick start as it gets heated up there's gonna be water and, and, and liquids coming out of the actual meat but to protect the meat and the vegetables so that they won't cook or burn we're gonna add that water and again that water will be used for your uh, sort of like a broth or, or you can use it for gravy and whatnot. 
So let me grab that water. And of course I only use filtered water. Now, with this basically, what I recommend is if you're planning to serve it in like the next five hours, try to get it ready in an hour before. What you need to do is you gotta have the lamb legs settle in before serving it or carving it. Now you can also use a lamb leg without the bone. I, I used it with the bone. Uh, let's see here. I actually might need a little bit more water. And finally, this is the final result.